Hi everyone, welcome to another time lapse video. As usual, this video was created from a full length tutorial that I have made for my patrons. So, if you want to support me and the work that I do on this YouTube channel, you can consider supporting me on Patreon. Patreon is a monthly subscription service where you can pledge a certain dollar amount to support the artist that you like. Alright, for this particular sketch that I am drawing today, I'll be using mixed media. So, I'll be using colored pencils, ink pens, and a Derwent line painter. For the ink pens, I'm using the Uniball Signal Gel Stick. They come in different colors and the ink is pigmented and waterproof, so they are great for use with watercolor. Now if you want to uh, check out the picture that I have, the reference photo is in the video description below, available for free download. So this is a rather complicated sketch, and for complicated sketches, sometimes I would start by mapping out some of the general proportions with pencil first before I ink it. So I don't have to draw a lot of details with the pencil, I just want to mark out the general shapes of um, some buildings and um, make sure that I get the proportion right so that I can fit everything into the scene onto my two pages. By the way, if you hear any rumbling noises, well, it's actually raining very heavily right now. It's like um, pouring cats and dogs outside. Okay, so um, back to the sketch, and now I am sketching some of the people in the scene. I wanted to add as many people as possible in the scene because um, when you have people in the scene, it really makes the sketch livelier, especially if there are people walking. Uh, even if there are people sitting, it's alright, but if you have people walking, it makes the sketch even more energetic. So this, uh, these people that you're looking at, they are some of them are actually my friends from uh, the sketching group. So we were there in Taichung for the Asia Link sketch walk that happened in October, early October. So we were all sitting in front of the old Taichung train station sketching. So those people that you see there, some of them are my friends. It's really fun to be sketching with such a huge group of people. Alright, for the building behind, you can see that I have used some of the colored ink pens to draw the signboards. So when using ink pens, it's best to uncap them, uncap all the ink pens. And in this case, since they are roller ballpoint pens, the ink will not dry. So that's one uh, good advantage of roller ballpoint pens when you uncap them they will not dry. As compared to the Derwent line painter, the tip will dry if you do not cap it back. So that's the Derwent line painter, the orange color line painter. The tip is a bit dry, so it's very difficult to draw lines. For this particular sketch, I am not really adding a lot of details. I'm just drawing on an A5 sketchbook that opens up into a white panorama, so there isn't a lot of space to draw to fit in all the details. So I can only draw the big shapes and draw whatever I can fit onto the page. I try to simplify things as much as possible. So I'm working myself from left to right, adding more people. Now when you draw people, people usually would overlap something, overlap a background. So in this case, those people, they are overlapping steps, they are overlapping the grass behind. So when you are drawing people, you have to plan in advance to have that overlap happen. And here I made a mistake uh, with the overlapping buildings, but it doesn't really matter. The thing is, when you are sketching very fast, sometimes you are bound to make mistakes and that is actually uh, one of the characteristics of sketching. You are definitely going to make some mistakes. Some lines are not going to join properly or some lines are going to be at a position where they should not be and that is the fun of sketching. If you are drawing with a computer, you can undo everything, make a perfect sketch, but um, sometimes when you have too much perfection, it lacks some um, character, so 
I think that's why some people still prefer to draw with traditional media. So um, yeah, this particular sketch, I try to mix with the colored ink pens and also with some colored pencils. I did not use a lot of color pencil for this, but when I use color pencils, it's usually to draw some lines. You can also use color pencils for shading, and that will create some sort of uh, textures, which uh, sometimes can look pretty nice. So when you have all these mixed media uh, tools working together, it really adds that uh, excitement, the variety, the texture, the additional texture. If you're just painting with pen and ink and watercolor, then um, well, it's it's quite common nowadays to see pen, ink, and watercolor, so you don't really expect the unexpected. But with mixed media, often you get some um, additional surprises. And also, when you experiment with mixed media art, you can um, find out a lot of interesting things. For example, some uh, combination of paint versus line art um, they may work better than you expected or you may not even know that they work but until you try it and discover that they work so that's another tool in your toolbox that you can use in the future for the watercolor section i am only using a limited palette the colors that i used were thalo blue pyro red hansa yellow i think these are the three colors that I use. So for the sky, I painted with phthalo blue. For the darker clouds, I painted with a mix of phthalo blue and pyro red. When you mix a cool blue and a warm red together, you are going to get a very neutralized, very dull uh, purple that is sometimes quite close to gray. And that's the color you are looking at right now, the color that I use to paint the clouds. So I diluted the mixture for the light gray. Later on in the sketch, I will be mixing a concentrated wash of Thaler Blue and Pyro Red for the extra contrast for the extra black. So using the mixture that I already have, I'm going to paint um, all the shaded areas for this sketch. The reference picture was actually taken during evening time. The sun has already set, but there is still light. So most of the buildings are actually in mid-tone, certainly much darker compared to the sky. But for this particular sketch, I wanted the buildings to be brighter, so I wanted to keep some of the areas white. And that's the difference between painting, drawing versus taking photographs. You can make your own artistic impression. At this stage, I am painting the vibrant colors. So for the vibrant colors, I have yellow, red, and blue. I will try to use them straight from the pen. And for the secondary colors like greens, I mix that with uh, Hansa yellow and phthalo blue. That will give me a nice green. And for the orange, well, um, I actually did not use a lot of orange. So it's just green, yellow, red, and blue. So I'm just uh, painting all the different signboards, trying to find out, um, trying to paint all the areas that should have colors and try not to miss out any one of them. So there are some purple signboards as well, but not a lot. If you look at signboards, um, I realized that there aren't many purple signboards around. So this is something that you would only notice when you sketch. If you are just taking a photograph on the street, uh, looking at your photograph, you are not going to be able to notice this sort of things. You can see green signboards, you can see blue, red, you can see black signboards, but purple signboards, they are actually quite rare for some reason. I'm not sure why. So now I am painting the darker areas just to give that extra contrast because so far I have just painted with uh, mid-tone colors so when you look at the whole sketch with just mid-tones nothing really catches the eye because there is no contrast at all so that's why I am adding the extra contrast so for this black color here it's actually not black it's uh, a very dark version of the blue 
is actually mixed with phthalo blue and pyro red. Instead of French ultramarine that I usually use for this particular sketch, I am using phthalo blue. So sometimes I like to switch things up a bit just to try something different and that's also one of the main reasons why I'm using mixed media for this sketch just to try something different for this last stage I'm just adding some details using the white gel pen like adding the words or suggestions of the words on those signboards using my black pen to add in some lines to places where I have gotten to draw that's the KFC guy, the colonel the white gel pen is really convenient and for that part there where I colored with the red colored pencil I was actually supposed to paint that with red paint but I forgot so I, did, I didn't want to wet my brush again so I used the color pencil and yeah so this is the completed sketch very different compared to my usual style the pen ink and watercolor because here there is more mixed media and you can definitely see um, the difference it has more variety it has more texture and there is more life with the colors and with the people in the scene so that's it for this sketch if you want to learn how to draw or if you want to learn more about pen, ink and watercolor, you can check out my online courses which are available for sale on my Gumroad page or you can support me on Patreon. My Patreon supporters, they have access to monthly tutorials that I have created over the last two to three years. So that is a lot of video tutorials you can watch. I will put the links to my Gumroad and Patreon page in the video description below. Your support is what enables me to continue making videos like this. Alright, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye!